Nairobians will never feel proud of being Nairobians if the issue of insecurity is still at the center stage. We, we see muggings in broad daylight, uh, you know, executions in broad daylight, uh, you know, the, 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 the ups and downs between the traders on the streets and the city council as carries is still something that is scaring many people. Um, in your administration, together with the governor, how are you going to handle this so that, uh, you know, I walk in Nairobi with my head held so high? Yes, and, and uh, security is an interesting, uh, is, 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 is a very critical aspect of mm. what you do because uh, everything that uh, we do must be in a secure environment. And that is a relationship that we have to work uh, alongside with the national, national government. Mm. But uh, we must address the root cause of, right. of these issues, which is basically poverty mm. and, and the inability for people to have uh, food on the table. And therefore, that challenge translates into people getting into criminal, criminal activity. Mm -hmm. So we believe that when we create the opportunity for people to do business mm. in a legitimate manner we will very significantly impact that but we'll also have our own uh, uh, management of the security activity mm. across the, the city mm. alongside the national government to make sure that uh, people feel secure people feel safe and people are treated well uh, when they want to to, to have a relaxed uh, day in the city yes. and and and, and uh, you know to go about their business in a peaceful manner mm. yeah. you know you're, you're well traveled and you've uh, You've been to different countries. Anytime you are approaching a nation, a city centre, how do you see Nairobi? When you're landing at night during the day and you pair with Hong Kong, uh, home away from home, how, what does that, how does it feel? I think the first thing you want to do when, when you get into a city like, like Nairobi is mm. you want to feel that uh, you can go into your hotel in in peace whatever time it is mm. if, you, if you land into a city that you can find your direction that you can find conveniences mm -hmm. uh, that you can find uh, uh, people who are friendly who you can talk to and you can dis you, you can find uh, things that you need to look for yes I, I think we need to get Nairobi to that level Nairobi has very many things going for it uh, like I said good weather good people friendly people mm. and all that kind of thing we just need to harness that potential yes. and grow it and drive it forward and make sure that uh, nairobi is the hub it should be uh, in africa in the world mm. and and it's something that can be achieved it's mm. something that we want to achieve it's something that we are committed to achieving mm. yes uh, b before you take a break let me ask you this question um the issue of taxation yes left right and center anything you want to do you have to part with 20 shillings 50 shillings 100 bob or even 200 shillings and traders ordinary Arabians in general feel that their pockets are being drained on a daily basis are you considering handling this in your next in the next administration oh yes we want, we want to do that uh like we said uh, we want to enable people to do business. We mm. want to make it easy to do business. We want to make it easy for people to start businesses, for people to run businesses. And one of the things that we've picked up that is a big challenge is uh, uh, the licensing regime. Mm. You know, you have a lot of licenses you have to apply for. You have to go and queue at City Hall and mm. uh, pay up uh, these levies. Mm. And uh, we want to make it easy for people to do uh, to get the licenses that they need to get from their premises, um, you know, using um, modern systems mm. so that you actually don't have to go and queue at City Hall. That will have two impacts. One of them is it will reduce the amount of time that businessmen waste mm. try to go to City Hall. And two, it is going to remove wastage and leakage mm. uh, from my revenue collection and therefore it's going to affect uh, to improve our revenue uh, streams mm. which is what we need to do which then we can reinvest in ensuring that the trading environment is better it's going to have a positive feedback and that is what we are committing to do we want to make sure that uh, our people don't queue uh, uh, at city hall mm. when their businesses are closed mm. when they are not actually doing the trade and when we do that uh, you'll have better uh, output both at the trader level yes. and at the county level.